Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm an associate teaching professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe, and I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the Interior Architecture program. Shout out to all my students. I hope you're having a great day. <clears throat> We're in Chicago, and we're having a, a tundra, a polar vortex. It's been pretty cold. Right now, it's 10 degrees, which is the warmest it's been in a few days. I hope the weather's great where you're at, and you're having a great day. All right, the spring 2024 semester has just started, and I'm teaching AI, and I'm teaching real-time rendering and some other courses, and I'm really excited about the courses I'm teaching. Today, we're going to look at at the live sync in Lumion, live syncing. You can live sync to 3ds Max, SketchUp, Rhino, ArchiCAD, a whole bunch of them, Revit. Uh, we're gonna look, I'm actually using Rhino, but the same should apply for whatever software you're using. All right, before we jump into it, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, head over to YouTube and click on subscribe and then click on all to receive all the notifications. If you're into digital design, there is something here for you. All right. Also, connect with me on Instagram at my first name, Alfonso underscore my last name, Peluso. Looking to get to 3,000 followers on Instagram. Hope you help me get there. You can see all my AI creations and what my students and I are working on. All right, let's jump into it. So what is Lumion Live Sync? So this is a way to sync your CAD file to Lumion. And I just did a search Lumion Live Sync and it gave me some links. Lumion Live Sync for Rhino, Lumion Live Sync for Revit. There's probably more down here, SketchUp, um, ArchiCAD. I mentioned 3ds Max. I'm actually not sure uh, if 3ds Max has a Live Sync. So uh, let me know in the comments if you find out. All right, so I clicked on the first link, and that took me to Lumion, a Lumion web page uh, where I can go through some steps. But it says the, there is a new way to install Lumion Live Sync for Rhino 8. Oh, wow, that's cool. We're coming up with Rhino 8, or Rhino 8's coming out soon. Um, but somewhere on here, there's a link to go to Live Sync. And when you click on that link to go to Live Sync, that link is going to bring you, here's that link right here, download link. That link is going to bring you to a site called Food for Rhino. And this is just for the Rhino users out there. And you can download Lumion Live Sync for Rhino from there. All right, let's jump into it. So I'm just starting out fresh. I'm going to open up Rhino 7 and I'm going to open up Lumion 2023. So I'm going to open up both of those softwares. I like to get the Lumion screen out. There's the Lumion screen. All right, so it's going to take a few seconds to uh, open these softwares. All right. Okay, awesome. I'm going to open up a file, a Rhino file. So what we're looking at here in particular, I think what's really important about today's tutorial is that we're looking at what happens with Live Sync when you save the file either as a different name or in a different folder or both. We're going to look at saving it as a different name and saving it in a different folder. All right, so let's set my camera view up here and I'm going to maximize this. So, how does this work? So, if I open up, if I open up Lumion, and let's say I open up a new file. So I'm going to go to Create New, and I'm going to click Plain Environment. And that's just going to open up a Lumion Plain Environment file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my Live Sync. So over in Rhino, once you install Live Sync, at the top you'll see Lumion, and you can, you can work. I, I've been using the drop-down. Um, you could bring out the toolbar. So I can click on this button and bring out the toolbar. 
And I'm going to click on the play button, which starts the live sync. And you see in the upper left of Rhino, it says live sync started. And I'm going to go over to Lumion, and it's, it's synced <laughs> or sunk. It's synced. Uh, and I can see in the upper right, and this is the new version of Lumion 2023, the most recent updated version, has this little live sync um, tab in the upper right, which, which we didn't have even in, even in Lumion 2020, 2023. The uh, first release of that didn't have that, but the, the latest release has that, which is really helpful. And I guess behind the scenes, it creates a DA, DAE file. Um, so... That's happening behind the scenes. We don't have to worry about that. Okay, so one thing I want to look at with this particular file is um, just to see us making some changes and seeing those changes occur. So if I go to if I go to materials, this is all one object. It's seen as one object, and we can uh, demonstrate that. Let's try this out. If I go to landscape and I go to let me go to materials. Uh, okay, landscape. Let's try this again. All right, so I'm just going to drop this out. And you see it drops it on the entire model. All right, any of these grasses that I put on. I was looking for the awesome plaid grass. All right, there we go. So we got the plaid. It's a very green building, <laughs> very sustainable. It's all grass. All right, um, so let's take a look at this. I'm curious to see what happens to this once we have this material on there. So let's go over to let's go over to Rhino. Um, my live sync is still running. What, let's see what happens when we do this save as. So file save as. So I'm saving this in a different folder with a different name. Okay, different folder, different name. And let's see what happens with the live sync. Okay, different folder, different name. Okay, as soon as I saved it in a different folder with a different name, it, ha it has paused the live sync. The so the live sync is no longer active. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the live sync and go over to Lumion. And you get this message in Lumion. Live sync, reconnect model. All right, so it, it's, it sees something is going on here, that the file's been changed somehow, maybe in a new folder, maybe a new name like we did. And in the upper right, in our live sync tab, it shows the new name, class2video.dae. It's showing that. And I was a little confused on what to do here. It says select which model to sync, and there's a pull down here. Uh, you don't do anything here. You just click the check mark. And the new model is updated, okay? It says class2video.dae. And we'll see, let's, let's verify that this new model has been updated by, in Rhino, making uh, materials for each one of these. So that's how you separate the file. Let me move this a little closer. That's how you separate the file in Lumion as you make, you make some materials here. So what is this one? This is Tadio. I'm just making them, naming them per layer. Uh, grass is kind of interesting. If you name it grass material, uh, Lumion will automatically put a grass material on it. I think it works for glass, maybe a couple other ones. Roof, okay. All right, so we've renamed all these. Our live sync is active. So when I go back over to Lumion, there we go. All the materials have been updated. Awesome. All right. That is all I wanted to show. If you like this video, leave a comment below. Also, give me a like. I hope everything goes well where you're at, and I'll see you on the next one.